Hi, Pastor Bill Bethel Lutheran Church in Green Valley. Today is Tuesday. It's the 28th of July. Please pray with me. Lord, as time passes, oftentimes things become clear in our lives, and then again, some things are not so clear. We look for answers. We ask for clarity and understanding. And we know that you are involved in all of that. Give us your wisdom. Give us patience. We pray this in your name. Amen. And our reading for today involves wisdom. We continue reading in uh, the first book of Kings. We've been in 1 Kings for a bit now, and I thought I'd just kind of take a little trip into 1 Kings in the Old Testament, because sometimes it gets a little bit neglected, I feel. It's 1 Kings, the, tr the fourth chapter, uh, verses 29 through 34. God gave Solomon wisdom, the deepest of understanding, and the largest of hearts. There was nothing beyond him, nothing he couldn't handle. Solomon's wisdom outclassed the vaunted wisdom of wise men of the East, outshone the famous wisdom of Egypt. He was wiser than anyone, wiser than Ethan the Ezraite, wiser than Heman, wiser than Calcol, and Darda, the sons of Mahal. He became famous among all the surrounding nations. He created 3,000 proverbs. His songs added up to a thousand five. He knew all about plants, from the huge cedar that grows in Lebanon to the tiny hyssop that grows in the cracks of a wall. He understood everything about animals and birds, reptiles and fish. Sent by kings from all over the earth who had heard of his reputation, people came from far and near to listen to the wisdom of Solomon. And it was uh, just the other day that I talked about the wisdom of Solomon, about the two mothers who were fighting over the one living baby, the other had died, and how Solomon used his wisdom to perceive who was the true mother. And <clears throat> I talked also about how we pursue wisdom. Here, Solomon's wisdom is spoken of again. It's legendary, his wisdom, that he shared, that he used, and which he was gifted with from God. We find ourselves in many situations in life when we would wish and we'd hope that we'd have the best wisdom in dealing with situations. You might find yourself in a situation right now where you want to make the best, the wisest decision, and you hope that your decision is the wisest possible. Never forget that the wisdom which you use in life is inspired by God. Never forget that your wisdom is not apart from God, but is indeed part of God's plan. Solomon lived his life as part of God's plan. We each are called also to live our lives along the path of Christ. Amen. We close with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. God's Spirit be with you now and always. Amen.